Hey, I'm Sebastian and welcome back to another episode of The Fogo Life. I put out weekly videos on barbecue how-tos and recipes. Don't miss another episode and subscribe to our channel. On this week's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make some amazing grilled lamb chops. Next week is Easter and it's the perfect time of the year to do a couple of recipes on lamb. Lamb is one of these like odd items, you know, you always see it on restaurant menus and it's kind of one of these like a little bit more expensive kind of exclusive things to do, but people don't really do it at home. And, and why is that? You know, maybe some people feel that lamb has a bit of an off taste, but you know, I think it's something that you get used to and you just have to try it. And really, it's extremely easy to do and, and you're going to love it. So let me show you how to do it. This Greek inspired dish is absolutely amazing. These lamb chops are loaded with tenderness and flavor and I'm going to marinate them for about 24 hours to really infuse them with their Greek flavor. The full ingredients for the marinade are in the description below. Today I'm using Fogo Premium, the black bag, because it lights easy and it gets to searing temperatures fast. I'm going to sear these lamb chops at about 600 degrees for around 3 to 4 minutes each side until they get that perfect caramelized crust and a little bit of char. All right guys, our lamb chops are done and it smells absolutely fantastic. So let's check it out. I'm going to have basically, we have two bones on these lamb chops. So I kind of like it like this because it's a little bit thicker. So you get kind of a nice medium rare, medium kind of interior. Oops, I broke the bone a little bit here. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see if it's any good. Okay, look at this, super juicy. Wow, check this out. Super juicy. I can't wait to take a bite. Let's try it, guys. Mm. 
This is amazing. Super soft, super moist. Really, really good. If you guys at home, if you think you don't like lamb, you have to give this a shot, okay? Try the lamb chops, grill them. Took me about what, like, um, let's say four minutes aside. You know, the, the fire you're using is sort of like medium heat, not super hot, not super, you know, super high flames. Try to keep the flames a bit under control. I um, closed my bottom vent. The way you don't burn um, the lamb chops too much, you know, but you get this like really nice crust. Check out this crust. It's really nice, like really nice caramelized. You have the Maillard re uh, reaction. But on the inside, look at this, like incredibly juicy, like really, really good. Mm. And in terms of flavor, I don't know. I don't think it's overly gamey or anything. It's maybe like a little bit nutty. It's for sure, it's different than beef, right? It's different than pork, different than beef. It's something that you have to get used to. It's, you know, it's like drinking a different kind of wine than you usually drink or beer or something. You know, it's a bit different. Oh, it's amazing. It's like juice flowing over my tongue. It's really good. I know that lamb chops have this kind of stigma that, you know, kind of, it's weird, it has a weird taste to it. Maybe even dirty or gamey. But really, I think it's a little bit of an acquired taste. It's a little bit like drinking an IPA for the first time or some sort of ale or something. You know, it's not necessarily bad. You just have to get used to it. Try it, try what you like. Play around a little bit with the seasoning, but you're missing out if you don't try out lamb chops. Well guys, I hope you liked this episode today and I hope I see you again next week. See you soon.